Hi everyone, my name is Julie Reynolds, mm -hmm. AKA Nurse Jar. In this training video, I'll be demonstrating and explaining to you how to perform the ProMetric testable skill, empties urinary drainage bag and measures and records urinary output. This skill is performed on a mannequin. You will be required to collect three supply items. You will be required to collect a chucks to lay down underneath the urinary drainage bag as a clean barrier, one pair of gloves, and a measuring container or graduate. So let's go ahead and get started. As with every testable skill, you'll want to start out with your opening procedures. This way, you can take care of all of your initial indirect behaviors. Hi, good afternoon, Mrs. Jones. How are you? Awesome. My name is Julie. I'm your CNA, and today I'll be emptying your urinary drainage bag and measuring and recording your urinary output, okay? All right, great. Before I get started, I just want to make sure that your bed is in a low safe position, and it is. Your bed wheels are locked. Here's your call light. Just press this button right here if you need anything. I'm going to provide you with privacy by closing your privacy curtain. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Jones, is there anything I can get for you before I go wash my hands and gather my supplies? Okay, well, I'll be right back. Washing hands. The first supply item I'm going to uh, gather will be the chucks. I'm going to use it as a clean barrier by placing it on the ground underneath the urinary drainage bag. Then I'm going to collect one pair of gloves and a measuring container or graduate. I'm going to place my supply items on top of the clean barrier. Now for this skill, you can either squat or kneel. If you kneel, make sure you place your knees on the clean barrier, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my pair of gloves. I'm going to look at the valve to make sure that it is closed, okay? Because you don't want to remove the drainage tubing from the holster if the valve is open. If it is open, you remove it, uh, you're gonna have urine all over the place. So this valve is closed. Now I'm going to remove the tubing from the holster. I'm going to place it over my graduate or measuring container and then I'm going to open the valve and let the urine drain. It's important that you do not allow the tubing to touch anywhere inside the measuring container. You also may have to milk the bag to get all of the urine out. Now that I've drained all of the urine from the drainage bag, I'm going to close the valve and then replace the tube in the holster. Now, along with my clean barrier, I'm going to pick up my measuring container, just like so. I'm going to bring it to a hard level surface. I'm going to wait just a few seconds so the wave-like motion of the urine will stop. Now I'm going to get down at eye level by squatting and I'm going to measure the urinary output. Once I've measured the urinary output, I'm going to roll up my clean barrier Dispose of it 
into mm -hmm. the waste bin. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to empty the contents of the measuring container into the bedside commode or toilet, mm -hmm. making sure it does not splash. Now I'm going to rinse the measuring container. Mm -hmm. So I'm rinsing the measuring container and I will also dispose of the rinse into the bedside commode or toilet, making sure it does not splash. Then I will dry the graduate. I will replace the graduate back in the storage area. I will remove my gloves without contaminating myself. Immediately dispose of them into the waste bin and immediately verbalize washing hands. Now I need to record. So I'm, wherever the measurement sheet is, I'm going to go and record my measurement. Then I will go back to the patient and perform my closing procedure. Mrs. Jones, it's me, Julie, your CNA. Are you doing okay? All right, well, I've emptied your drainage bag and I've measured and recorded your urinary output. Your urinary output was 125 milliliters, okay? All right, is there anything else I can get for you? Okay, well, before I leave, I just want to make sure that your bed remains in a low safe position. Bed wheels are locked. You still have your call light here. Just press that button if you need anything. Would you like for me to keep your privacy curtain open or would you like for me to close it up so you can see? Okay, I'll close it up. All right, Mrs. Jones, if there's nothing else you need, um, I guess I'll leave and you have a great day, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones. Washing hands, skill complete. All right, guys, so what I want to show you on this measuring container is that it is in increments of 25. So you have zero, the smaller mark is uh, 25, then you have 50, okay? And then 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, so on and so forth. Okay, if y'all can see that. On this side, this side is measurement in ounces. So you don't want to measure on this side. Use the numbers on the left side, which are in milliliters, okay? Your measurement needs to be in increments of 25 milliliters. Now, when you measure, if the urine is, let's say it's in between 100 and um, 125, okay, it's like in the middle, you want to round up. So you would record 125 milliliters, okay? Or let's say um, your measurement was between 150 and 175. Again, you round up and you would record 175 milliliters, okay? Now, I just want to show you a measurement sheet. During testing, this information will be filled out already, okay? All you'll have to do is make sure you put the correct time, what type of output, the measurement, and your initials. And then you will need to sign, okay? All right, guys, so that was it.
Prometrics testable skill measures, excuse me, empties urinary drainage bag and measures and records urinary output. 